Yo, this is the Tunnel Plays Pokemon Sword. We are ready for the seven gym badge. We have arrived at the more gloomy dark town of Spikemouth for the first time ever in history. We're gonna go into a dark type gym. Finally, I would say. Finally, finally, finally. So, Spikemouth is the home of Team Yell. It's a kind of gloomy and dark town. Team Yell's headquarters. And it's also the location of. The seven gym. So we can go here, get the seven gym badge, and then we're gonna go back to Hammerlock. Proceed up our Pokemon though. There are even regular Pokemon people here as well, not just Team Yell. I mean, it's not just Team Yell people living here, luckily. Anyway, um, just to summarize, this is a dark type gym, the first time ever. Dark is weak to dark types like Bug and Fighting and Fairy. So if you have a good fighting type Pokemon, like Hitmonlee, he'll be useful here. Same will uh, his Cinderace will be, because he knows some fighting moves. And the Libero ability makes him able to change his uh, ability depending on the move you use, so he can become a fighting type. And generally it's just really cool. Toxtricity is also decent because poison types are resistant to fighting. And Corviknight would have been useful, but Steel is actually a bad thing against uh, Fighting types, because Fighting are strong against Steel types. But generally though, Flying types are strong against Fighting as a move, so... Most of our Pokemon are really strong here, so there's no Pokemon that's really bad to use here. So I think we're gonna have an easy time, but we will see though. But uh, I think Hitmonlee is the Pokemon we put in forward. He's not that good defensive-wise, but special defense is okay. And he's okay speed, and very high attack. No. Nope. Let's see if we can find Marnie now, who will show us around the town to see where we can find the gym. The gym here is very straightforward, though. just head right all the time. With the shutter closed, nobody's gonna be able to challenge the gym. I gotta look into this. I just happened to have too many of these, so I'll give you one, okay? Got it? Count yourself, right? We got Pierce Lady Card, Pierce is the gym leader of Spike Mud Gym. Oi, welcome to Spike Mode, Kate. Hope you're ready for the gym mission. Hold on, mate. If you're gonna take on the gym mission, you better change into your uniform. Yeah, for some reason, the G Spike Mode gym starts already here. I guess I only have a stadium here, I guess, but yeah. Kinda weird. Gym Challenger. You wanna get past me, but I don't want that. Basically, there's a battle between our desires. Yeah, so the gym mission in uh, this one is basically very simple. You fight Team Yell members, and you beat them. That's basically it. It's kind of weird, but that's basically how this gym works. Team Yell is in control of the 7th gym, so it's basically all about beating Team Yell members. Quick break. One hit KO. Simple. Lindon is pretty weak defensively. So Spikeman is a very probably the smallest town in the game, and it's just a Pokemon Center and a gym stadium basically. You and your Pokemon broke through. The gym mission is again very simple. You just fight Team Yell members, and when you beat them, you can continue. And then you fight Pierce in the end in the stadium, and you get your badge. It's kind of sad how this, this is like a gym, though. Just keep running. Oh, right, that, Mr. Mime? What's that? Can I go inside the house, maybe? What's this? A gym challenger made it through? All those Team Yell members have blocked the way. I don't think we just let it walk through, though. Oh, maybe Mr. Mime is a Pokemon, then. Oh, well, let's find out. That's what this grunt has. It has Feeble. Oh, that's Nikit's evolution form. Feeble, even though it looks a bit cool, like the classic uh, British thief, is generally a weak Pokemon. Let's just use close combat to make this quick. Ba -ba 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 Boom! Like that. Feeble goes down very fast. 43 for Hitmonlee and 44 for Tuckerstein. Very nice. Overdrive is a new move we can now learn for Tuckerstein. This is a nice move. 
This is basically um, a move attack posing a Pokemon by twang and guitar or bass guitar. It causes a huge echo and strong vibration. It's kind of weird though, like... Discharge and Overdrive are both good. But... Yeah. I think I don't really need... I think I don't need Toxic though. I'm just gonna get rid of Toxic. I can probably learn it back. It probably is a TM. You can learn it back if you want to though, but... Overdrive I feel is like the unique move for Toxicity. So we want to learn it and see what it does. I wasn't able to properly greet you. Well, you, we had a battle, though. That's my way of greeting. It was totally unbelievable. Even my Pokemon in the off of your, your team. Here go on, Drew. Check out the neon signs while you're at it. <laughs> Mr. Mime runs away, too. Ah, go. This reminds me a bit like a final fight. Oh, Team Yell from the windows. Oh! Oh, they actually landed. Oh, they crash landed. At the battle, at least. The Team Yell guy has to offer us. He has Crafty. Yeah, I got all the battles Crafty before against Marnie. So we know what to do with it. It's crafty, dual type, dark, and fighting. It's very weak to fairy, but a simple dark Pokemon won't do much against the fight. Brick Break, almost got it. Comes to Swagger, but it's gonna miss. How fortunate. One more Brick Break then. And Scrafty says bye. Unfortunate. Scrafty though. And Cinderace is level 47. Wow. I lost. My leg's pain is back. It's a double shock. Yeah, I guess. Well, it's true that I lost. But I pushed through the pain, so you should praise me for that. Or right, not, the pain's gone. I guess I'll let it get out of here. Yeah. Item here at least. And max revive. We need to keep those for the future. Any more one of these grunts to fight, or? Mine is blocking the path again. So where is the path when I take them? Okay, you're gonna have to fight two of them maybe? Or is that just one? Just one. Want to grant to fight then? What does this Pokemon trainer have? We will. Oh nice. This is really nice. So we will is dual type dark and ice. What's the problem with Dark and Ice? Yep, you guessed it. Four time weakness to fighting. Still pretty fast though, so you can hit it with Ice Shard. Ice Shard is a good move that uh, has the priority. Like quick attack. But we were so weak to fighting though. One hit KO against Dark uh, fighting type moves. You just can't survive that. Here's next P2. And it's an easy win. Seriously, you gotta be kidding. It's over already. What? So they practice my battles because not my backflip skills. I for show me. Guess I'll cheer you from now on. There's a good skills there, at least. What about you, Mr. Mime? He runs away, at least. No neon signs here, I guess. Oh well. The heal of though, those I shard it was it was a critical hit, so it's a bit dangerous. And I shard I think is also a physical move, and the move is not good against physical hits. Timiel takes the field. It might be the gym challenge, but I won't let you ruin our cool circuit hangout. But time for a pincer attack. We'll do whatever it takes to win. I didn't have enough time to get my disguise ready. That's right, Team Yellow actually made up of Spike but Gym Trainers. Double battle? Yep, double battle against Team Yellow Ground and a Gym Trainer Joshua. Leap Heart and Drapion. Oh boy. Kimberly and Rillaboom. So Drapion is dual type Poison and Dark. 
which means he doesn't really have a lot of weaknesses. He's weak to fairy. Or actually, no, not weak to fairy because of the poison type. He's weak to ground, though. Ground is kind of like the only weakness he has. Well, Leopard is very weak to fighting. Give me Swift, though. I don't need them both. Slash from Leopard. I'll hit my Lee. And Swift from Willaboom. Give me both. Give me a little brick break on Leopard. I'll take it down. The Leopard is. Drop him, we'll use Winter Shock. Also, Poison Move. Poison Super Effective against Cross Type. See why I'm going to switch a little bit out. Let's go with a uh, Brick Break then on Drapion. And let's switch out Little Boom for uh, Corviknight. So Corviknight is a Steel Flying Duel type immune to Poison. Let me learn something new though. So basically Team Yell is basically Spike Mud Gym Trainers. Poison Fang. Need my Lee. Be okay damage though. Alright, so let's go for uh, Drill Pick. Quick break. Not enough. Poison Fang. And hit Mali. Oh, not enough. Damn it. Drill Pick. Well, Corviknight. That'll take down the Drapion, though. That was a good fight. And Corviknight is level 43. Anyway, it would be better if you just lost to us. The loser team member Yim Yellow was a bit of a gym trainer. I don't know. Uh, whatever, our gym leader's up next, but he's really strong. Got that? I mean, everybody's only new to that with Team Yellow, right? I mean, they won't be getting in trouble not getting my disguise on, right? Sure hope so. Alright, so Team Yellow gym leader is next. We've got a heal up for that though. Let's use a portion of Rilla Boom. And let's also get a revive up onto Malik. Because Malik will be the king here, so I think it's important that he is ready. So I think he will be useful for sure. I think I can start with Corviknight. Because I think we want to save Hit Malik, especially for the last Pokemon that he's going to use for the Dynamax. Shut your goob! Oh, Sitano! Uh, I'm really sorry. Little Spikema is telling me they locked down the city for my sake. Spikema just been getting worse and worse, and all Pierce says is don't worry. So we decided to disguise ourselves as Team Yellow and sabotage other challengers. I told you if we could stop the gym challenge from reaching the gym, then Mrs. Mani will be the only one to win and make it to the Champions Cup. We figured out to increase the chance of our wonderful Mrs. Marnie becoming the new champion. <sighs> That's no way to help someone at all. Tell no need to bother you with all these preparations or whatever. Go on in the face of the gym leader. So there's no stadium in here, I guess, in a way. But that's fine, though. Let's go in and meet him right away. He's up the Pokemon and to get him ready. Remember, Dark type is the key here, so... If you have a good Pokemon that has a fighting move or a fair move, especially, you'll do fine. Let's get in. And there he is. It's Pierce. He's been an artist. Quite the hair, though. He's having quite a. Quite the, huh, quite the fun, at least. <sighs> so you're finally here, huh? See, I'm really not a great gym leader. I feel at night why nobody's but coming to challenge me. I have good ears. So I've heard the whole thing about the city being shut up. When I was alone, it was like my soul was weeping. This is a simple gym stadium. You can't even Dynamax our Pokemon. But well, I do hope you enjoy the battle. No Dynamaxing here, really. Hmm. 
Oh well. Now then. I'm the gym leader of Spike Man. Pierce the dark type user. You wanna challenge me even though you know you lose? Then this song is for you, foolish trainer. Get ready for a mosh pit with me and my party. Spike Mud, it's time to rock! That's right. Pierce is the gym leader, but he's a Team Yell captain as well. He's actually the leader of Team Yell, you can say, in the work. Oh well, let's see how this goes though. Well, here comes Scrap. That's why I picked in Corviknight first, because he's a fighting type 2. And I'd rather want to have him leave for later. Everyone, cheer him out, Pokemon. Let's do it. Scrap the Intimidate the opponent. Yeah, yeah, Intimidate with the ability that causes the attack power of the Pokemon you face. So, that's right, there's no Dynamaxing in here, so don't need to worry about that. Just regular battle. Let's start off first then with Drill Pack. Take out first from it. Scrafty. We'll do low damage because steel types are resistant to normal attacks. Now drill pack. Let's get it up. Good damage. Try to do brick break. Do good damage too, but most effective because his steel type are weak to fighting, but uh, flying is resistant. So it's neutralized. Drill number two. Not enough though. Do good damage. Payback. Crafty. He's the damage too. One more drill pack should do it. It does. Crafty goes down. So far, good start in this gym leader battle. And with that, Rillaboom is 45, Hitmonlee is 44. We'll get the oh boy, high jump kick. Yeah. This is even stronger than close combat. But as a 10% chance to miss, and if you miss, you will take a lot of damage. Still though, I will glad to take it. The only synergy build is actually up with Mali, even though more Pokemon can learn it today. But still, it's amazing. Next up is the Malamar. Ooh. Malamar is dual type dark and psychic. Yeah. It has a four time weakness to bug. And it has a lot of weaknesses too. For example, it's uh kind of interesting to fight. In a way. Hmm. So Malamar. Uh, let's see. What should I use against Malamar actually? I mean it has a weakness to fairy and portal weakness to bug. Rest it is neutral, so I guess we just hit it whatever is strong. Um I think I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Talion actually. It doesn't really matter what we use here, because we don't really have any good bug moves or fairy moves, so it doesn't really matter. It's immune to psychic though, because it's a dark type. That's important. Malamar. Malamar's gonna mess you up with his Contrary ability. Yeah, so Contrary is an interesting ability. It's one of the coolest abilities actually in the game, in my opinion. So, Contrary is kind of funny. So, Contrary is making stat changes have opposite effect. So Malamar is an ability that, that reduces his stats and increases it instead. So we will see though. Anyway, let's start with Snipe Shot. Aim and fire. That's a foul play. Yeah, foul play doesn't really do much though, that's fine. Snipe Shot, number two. Aim, fire. And Malamar goes down. But yeah, for example, if Malamar used an ability that would reduce its stats, for example, um, super, super Power, for example. Super Power is a move that does reduces your uh, attack stats, I think, if you use it. But Malamar will have the contrary, makes it, it gains attack power. So it's a kind of funny ability. Next up will be Obstagoon. Obstagoon is the Lenoon Evolution. That's right. Zigzagoon Lenoon was the regular evolution form, but now it has gone another one. It has another evolution called Obstagoon. Now Zigzagoon has two evolutions instead of one. Only the Galarian form though. Here it comes. 
Obstagoon. Tony and I remember my crew face the proud roar of my Obstagoon. So Obstagoon is the new Pokemon in Generation 8, evolved from a Lunoon, only in the Galarian form. It's a dark and normal dual type, which means it has a poor time weakness to fighting. And with that, I think only a Brick Break would be enough. Anyway, Obstagoon is dual type, dark normal, critical hit, that's 8 times damage. Ouch, 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 ouch. And Cinderace is level 48. The last Pokemon from Pierce will be Skuntank. Oh no, I hate Skuntank. So Skuntank, just like Dropgun we faced before, is dual type, poison, and dark. Which means the only weakness is ground. It's resistant to poison, gold, star, grass, and dark. So hit it with whatever you have that can deal may na nasty damage to a skunk tank. Skunk tank doesn't really have a high defense and special defense though, but its HP value is still good. So I'm not actually gonna stick with Hitmon Lee. But of course, get in, no suck, no boost, no Pokemon. Come with me. Skunk tank is your last Pokemon. Everyone's gonna stink, but who cares? Go with Skuntank, you should suck a punch and toxic. Yeah, that's basically what Skuntank is all about. It's all about sustain you down to help. Fine with me. I'm gonna go with the more risky move. High jump kick. Suck a punch goes first. Fine with me, not very effective. Because fighting types are resistant to poison. Oh, or dark even. It doesn't matter, both poison and dark is not doing much damage in fighting types. But man, we're so close. One more move to do it. Let's do Brick Break. Here it comes. And that's game over. Skunk Tank Aftermath will deal some damage to us. That's fine. You'll survive anyway. Skunk Tank goes down. Getting some HP here. Level up for Toxicity. Level 45. And it's over. Me and my team gave it our best. Let's meet up for a battle again sometime. I'm glad we're able to battle. Seems like my Pokemon feel the same way. Here's your Dark Patch. Quite a different way to get a badge, but it doesn't really matter that we get the dark badge, and there's only one more badge to go. It's the hammerlock one. Ah, oh, poor Team Yell is sad. Okay, Pokemon to the 55, that's nice. Even the dark type uniform. That's kinda cool. Now maybe we can look like Team Yell, I guess. Who else is Marnie is gonna challenge me next, I bet. That was actually kinda sweet. So you're watching, sis. You don't learn anything from seeing me lose. I was watching your battle, bro. It's how I learned the battle and all that. That right? That reminds me, Marty. There's something I wanted to tell you. I want to take over the gym here and spike for that as a gym leader. Yeah, I know. You plan to retire after the Champion Cup, right? I think you're ready to become a J gym leader even if I don't Dynamax your Pokemon. I love you, but my answer is a big fat no! I mean,. If I'm not becoming a champion, I won't be able to become a junior. Good point. In that case, let your big bro see if you have the skill to become a champion. Zitana, thanks for having an amazing battle, proper battle with my brother. It's my turn next, I'll clear up for a bit, okay? Mm, I guess. Is there a bit pierced? Here, at end, remember this moment. Team 85, Snarl. Ooh. Snarly Snarl. I guess that's a cool thing to do, right? It's cool though. Hey, there's some trouble on Route 9. So buddy and the champions come to sort things out. Oh, I hey, Pierce gave a thrashing, didn't you? You should head over there to help. Come on then. I'll show you the way. 
what's going on, but I guess we have to go find quickly. It's gonna be a long episode. I'm sorry about that. Kaboom. What's up? Stella, thanks for coming, but I got a handle on this. We're just making a noise, I'll see to it. I already told you, didn't I? Keep your eye on the go. And for you, that's winning the gym challenge. The gym I left is the one you'll get from the dragon types, which leader Raihan, right? Raihan is the only trainer out there I consider a real rival. He's that good, you know. And there I go again. So I better suppose there's no time for me being stopping for a chat. There's a bit of trouble here with my name on it. But don't you worry about a thing. And be able to champion is, look after our things, and keep you all safe. What is that thing even? I gave him a tunnel, wouldn't you say? It's about to have a champion's time! Well, whatever it is, uh, I'm not really sure, but I guess we have to find out. So next episode, we're going to go through the tunnel, see what's going on in the tunnel. And then we're going to go back to Hammerlock. And we're going to fight Raihan for the 8th gym badge. And then it's time to end the Champions Cup and the Pokemon League. And we will become the next Pokemon League champions. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on, on social media. That's great for now. See you next time with my journey in Pokemon Sword. Continue!